At the start of the pandemic, we all watched with horror what was happening in Italy and hoped it wouldn't happen here. Well, now Italy is... Now to another grim Rome. milestone, the world surpassing one million deaths from the coronavirus. Twenty twenty, initially seen as a fresh start, a year in which we were supposed to live with compassion and prove to the world what really sets us apart. Yet 12 months later, we look back at all of it with quite a heavy heart. Our energy levels became less and less, all because of one year that turned out to be really quite a big mess. If we were to tell people who weren't here about what really happened this year, it would be preposterous and hard to believe, which is why we turn to a puzzle to help us perceive. What now in December looks chaotic and unorganized started as an auspicious year with all pieces equalized. Who would have later thought that something like this can leave us all so traumatized? In future history books, 2020 will undoubtedly rise to fame. If you think about how much has happened within one predetermined time frame. This frame is unbendable, unshakable and unbreakable and the color of it will make its recognition later on unmistakable. The first piece, as a symbolization of COVID-19, a virus that forged the basis for many problems that were previously unseen. Citizens awaiting governments to take the blame, whereas those in power did not wake up until the WHO actually gave the virus a name. But wait a minute, after millions of cases, is Corona and the seasonal flu really still the same? Loss of life, economic hardship and a societal shock. It left us with the hope that it was all a dream, but then where is the damn alarm clock? The paradox of COVID-19. Should we really devote to political activism and contravene or trust the process of finding the right vaccine? I feel ashamed that in a year of almost inexistent air travel and low levels of production, this next piece still stands for climate change and our planet's destruction. Two phenomena that unfortunately need no further introduction. 2020 as the warmest year in history, with nearly ice-free arctics caused by temperatures rather blistery. Yet the reason why we're still not collectively doing anything about this, at least to me, remains a mystery. So why are we not channeling our efforts on climate retention? Well, probably because of this next piece. Political tension. A list with problems too long and complex to mention. But let us not forget the enraged president ranting on Twitter instead of just enjoying his pension. In fact, look at BLM, caused by scenes of absolute mayhem. So actually all tensions are escalating more and more. Black Lives Matter wasn't just another movement against systematic racism, but rather something that we all stood for. So why don't we reunite and set an end to a future race war? Of course, there were also these small everyday struggles. But how can you complain about, oh no, this year no vacation, when in 2020 we saw how racial segregation can pull apart an entire nation? While these previous problems were the most prominent, it might be that you had obstacles in 2020 that were more dominant. An explosion in Beirut, for which no one really took the blame. Or maybe your family became dislocated in Australia, trying to escape yet another flame. So not all problems in 2020 go under the same name, but absurdly enough can be found within this same predetermined time frame. But there's not only this, there's also this. A piece of hope. In comparison to the big picture, it looks so small that to see it you would almost need a microscope. 
but even a small amount can help us put things into perspective. And so, as we approach next year, we begin rearranging our lives as a human collective. To realize that already a little piece of hope can be quite effective. Obviously, it's not enough to just have a bit of hope and to rearrange, where in reality, you need the actual will to change. In comparison to hope, it has twice the size, but that's because of what willpower can actually symbolize. Because with both hope and will combined, we can together fight for the world to be realigned. And so, as we approach next year, the future is certainly not yet clear. But I promise you, we can steer. And adding these two extra pieces will help us persevere. And that should really be our 2021 aim. As even besides a thousand problems, hope and willpower will always find a space within the same predetermined time frame. So in the end, it is unquestionable that what has happened was absolutely tragic. But sometimes, for change to happen, all you need is a little magic.